was having a good time doing it. People seemed to be enjoying it whenever it first appeared. The orders were bigger than Spider-Man and everything, and we thought, we're on to something here. Just even, if something's rubbish, I'm the first to admit it, but I had a feeling this was going to work out good, and I knew Johnny was doing the most amazing job in the art. I thought, it's going to hit big as a comic, and I knew Matthew by that point was involved in the movie, and I thought, Matthew's a brilliant director, of course this is going to work out great. And looking back now, there was so many hurdles, like no studio wanted to touch it, you know, the movie had to be made independently, Matthew had to borrow 40 million off his friends. You know, which is insane, and like there was, and then try and sell it to a studio to prove that they were wrong. So many things could have gone wrong, and yet there was always this crazy optimism. Hey, there's a dude dressed like a superhero out there fighting a bunch of guys. As soon as it began, I was excited. I saw my name on the screen for the first time in my life, and I got very excited. Wow, that's not going to happen again. I was, I hope it does, but. I'm like, I, I was find too excited. Prom tapes from 1985. <laughs> maybe, <you know>? so, <laughs> That's but, right. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, all personally and all self-congratulatory. I was excited, yeah. and my family's going to be happy to see it. That's all I could think of. And then, with seeing the process play out on screen, I, I, I was like a two-year-old kid. As soon as it started, it was instantly my favorite film ever. I just <laughs> I feel as if The Godfather looks rubbish now, and like Jaws and all that. They've all been displaced. This is now my favorite film. Let's see what you can do. the best movie ever made? Absolutely. <laughs> In my own humble opinion. Yeah, and anybody who doesn't go to see it is a damn fool. It's, it's a step above Spider-Man because this is real life yeah. wanting to be a superhero as opposed to real life in Spider-Man becoming Spider-Man. This is a kid wanting to be a superhero but not yeah. really being a superhero and yet succeeding anyway. Is that the pitch? Plus, I feel as if America's had a hard time over the last two or three years and I think this is the moment it all turns around for America. I think this is the turning point in this film. Oh yeah. You didn't see that, did you?